Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to create portals using Adobe After Effects. Uh, this is great for not only like that fantastical magic look where you're looking through a glass or something, but also for the sort of the space age stuff where you're creating a rip in space time and you're moving from one side of the universe to the other. So let's take a quick look at a shot like that. So here I've got my, uh, my editing desk at home and there's a portal opening up in it. Let me take a quick look. Arm reaching through to grab a flashlight off the desk and pulls it back in. So, um, aside from the, the visual effect of the energy of the portal, most of what will sell a portal shot is how you shoot it. There's a lot of things to consider, but the biggest thing is if you can have elements move from one side of the portal to the other in the same shot, it will really sell the effect well. This, however, requires green screening or something similar. I couldn't find my green screen, so I used a red couch and just kind of pumped up the saturation and used that for a key. It worked okay, but it wasn't very clean. So how you light it and how you shoot it is going to really determine the effect of the finished shot. Also consider that uh, changing lighting environments is a really effective way to sell the shot, but you need to keep it in mind when you're shooting the keyed subject. So when an element moves, like an arm moves from one environment to the other, you'll need to have the lights set up to change on the green screen side as well, so that the arm will change at the right time or what have you as it moves to the new environment. The more things like that that you layer, the tougher it is to get the finished result, but the better it looks in the end. So um, essentially, if we go to the, uh, the front desk, all I've really got here is the energy portal and my arm reaching through with the flashlight and this has been keyed and again how it was shot was important because I had to match the angle of elevation off the desk to that of the couch both from both angles that I shot so it looks pretty much like it's sitting right on the desk and because the couch has been keyed out obviously it's missing from this shot and I just added in the environment again behind the portal using this the same shot with an elliptical mask on it so that's pretty much all that there is for the practical footage you may need to do a little bit of color adjustment or what have you to get it to blend together let's take a look at the actual portal so here's what the portal looks like um, there's no color on it because it wasn't really feasible to color it while I was stacking the effects I was stacking if we look at it just kind of fluctuates around like it's made of water or something like that or high energy. To make this basic shape, what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new shape layer. If we open up the shape layer, underneath contents we're going to add an ellipse. And we'll make that ellipse, ellipse a little bit bigger. Say right about there. The line's a little thin so we'll go ahead and we'll add in a stroke. We'll give that line a little bit a little bit more beef to it, right about there's pretty good. Now the, as for the kind of swirl around the side, uh, what you need is lines coming out from the circle. To do this, what I've done is I've stacked light rays. So essentially, what we'll do, I've got mine on an adjustment layer, but you can apply it right to the shape. Go we'll effect, generate, light rays. As you move the rays in close, you'll notice it starts to create again light rays based on the object that you're looking at so you want to move it in so that the rays are moving out away from the circle and we'll duplicate that we'll move it around to the side and again around to the side a little bit so that you get them going all the way around once you've done that your, your effects gonna look pretty similar to this and the number of light ray effects you use and how closely packed they are will in affect the finished result. To get these to swirl around I've used a twirl distort. So I can replicate that for you. Go ahead and go to distort, twirl, and what we're going to do is we're going to just keep increasing the angle until all of this kind of blends together. You don't want it too tight, you want to give it a little bit of, of breathing room, but right about there looks pretty good. Now a finished result to take this from a very uh, static, kind of sterile looking in scientific environment, like in a lab, to a really organic look in real life, I'm going to apply a turbulent displace. So that's where this 
other adjustment layer comes in. Let's go ahead and we'll create a new adjustment layer. Go Effect, Distort, Turbulent Displace. And I'm going to lower the size of the displace. Not too tight, give it a little bit of size to it, but not so loose it makes it look like it's being moved out of place on the shot. And what we want to do is animate the evolution. But instead of doing it with keyframes where you'd have to keep coming back to the base layer and editing the keyframes, I'm going to do it with an expression. So I'm going to open up that adjustment layer, the effect, and we'll hold down Alt or Option, click on Evolution. And I'm going to set this to the time, times let's say 50. As we scroll through this, you can see that it is in fact animating. Now how fast it animates and the size of that distortion will depend on how much you want the finished portal to move. If it's rotating like mine is, you don't need a lot of this kind of effect. If it's rotating very, very slowly, this effect can kind of help bring it back to life where it doesn't look like it's moving at all. All right, so we have our finished portal and I added in a second shape layer just to beef up the event horizon, if you will, of the portal and put a little bit of a flash, fast blur on it to give it an energy look. Okay, so if we come back to our, our desk shot, we take a look at that portal. You can see that I've also added a color balance to color it. And you can alter the color balance based on the environment behind. Bear in mind that energy looks better on a black background than it does on a white background. So if you're shooting in the snow, it's going to be very difficult to see the portal energy apart from the environment you're shooting in. So there we go, we have that, but it's also rotating. To get that rotation, what you would want to do, I'll just duplicate this layer, open, press R to open rotation, and I'll option click or alt click on the stopwatch, and we'll set this as time, times let's say 100 this time. And you can see that this rotates. Now this is rotating with the swirl, almost like the portal's rotating and dragging the energy with it. You can have it rotate against the swirl or have the swirl going in the opposite direction. To change the direction of rotation, you'd multiply this expression by negative one. So let's go ahead and open it up. Asterisk, negative one. And now if we scroll through, you can see it's rotating against the swirl, like a, like a saw blade cutting into the air. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create portals using Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.